And like, obviously not everybody's going to come to every single game forever. But like, I don't know. This game's got a bright future. How are y'all doing tonight? I can only see the chat. It's coming. I do this alone. This should be interesting. I remember, like, I don't remember if it was. Yeah, no, it was Olimar. It was Olimar that a bunch of DDMs were saying was a rough matchup back in Smash 4, which doesn't necessarily translate here. I don't remember. I don't know what ca changes the characters actually got. Pay much attention to it, I admit. Mean. I'm surprised it goes, went to FD first, honestly. It's like, I feel like this is being treated as, like, not the least neutral neutral, but the least picked neutral, at least from what I've seen so far. He hasn't really been stepping back to grab Pikmin. He doesn't have, like, particularly good fight Pikmin, which I feel like you need against Diddy, you know what I mean? He knows better than I. Um, and he doesn't have a lot of time to, like, breathe, because Nelvin... Nelvin plays, like, wild Diddy. Or not even wild, but just, like, he's always hitting the button. That's one thing that I feel like Olimar has a struggle with. Like, he knew he was going to monkey flip towards him, but, like, he didn't really have, like... Pikmin are... I don't know what the term is, the priority or like how are their property or whatever, but like they don't really, they don't really beat attacks, so even if you're reading, you still have to like outspace or whatever. That was actually a kind of sick edge guard by Nelvin, that was not creative. Nice, nice. Yeah, now he's, now he's kind of just ballooning it, not ballooning it, but like just taking it out of control. One factor that's always been a thing in this matchup ever since these two characters were put in the game was just that the Pikmin can nullify the banana. Not completely, but like, it's a lot worse for stage control just because, I mean, Pikmin can scrap it and get rid of it. Or at the very least, bring it back to Olimar. Builder's playing a little. I don't know if I want to say jittery, but like trigger happy, I feel like. Like he's going for a lot of down smashes like after he's already away. I feel like he's just kind of... Like, and like that, like that F smash, like that wasn't going to be like monkey flip kick, I don't think at least. Nice tech. Like, I don't know. Nice. That was a great ice guard by Nelvin, actually. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like he's being a little too like quick to do stuff before... That was actually kind of cool. Too quick to do stuff before, like, seeing what's going down, you know? But, I mean, I don't know. He is behind. Yeah, now Pilgrim's kind of go, gotta go on the chase. Which isn't particularly fun for all of Mars, truth be told. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the mechanics, the new mechanics of the game help him a little bit, regardless, like... I imagine he'd rather just fortress the best as much as he can. Yeah. There, yeah, that was good. See, there, like, there, just like I was saying, he couldn't, like, eat that. I mean, maybe he could have with a purple left smash, but, like, he doesn't really have a lot of ability to just, all of our, I mean, have a lot of ability to just eat that, so you gotta outspace it on his, which, Pilgrim's like starting to, start to figure that out, which is cool. That's one thing about Olimar, is if he's ever going to pluck Pikmin or curl Pikmin or whatever. Oh, SD. Um, you can kind of just, if you're fast enough, you can kind of just rush into his zone. Yeah, nice catch, nice catch. Nice punish, yeah. Yeah, in lieu of, um, in lieu of trumping, that's actually, like, it's actually a really good edge guard. Like, yeah, just cover... Cover two options. Three if you time it right. 
Because you can't, like, yeah, I don't know. Any character, I feel like now that Trumping's not a thing anymore, I feel like any character that's got, like, great ledge trap stuff is just in a much better position than everybody else. Oh, not everybody. Not much better position than everybody else, but they've got, they've got something. Why is no one coming by commentary? There was a dude who was like, oh, are they going to leave commentary soon? I'll do it. PS2, I'm so glad that the stage exists. And this remix. This is, gonna, this is definitely going to be the new Smash, but I think. It's just, man, dude, it's good. Damn, he took like six damage a pop from that. The one v one damage, bro. Yeah, I guess. he's really catching him with a lot of them. It's a great zone break, but great catch by Pilgrim. Kind of just stuck that out. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Like, Nell's not really stopping to shield. He's kind of just like hitting buttons and like being brazen and like sticking out hitboxes and just generally like leaving himself open to being clipped by attacks. And the reason why it's working is because like the Pikmin only grab onto you, except for the purple Pikmin, they don't really interrupt you. So, Pilgrim definitely noticing that, just sticking out strong attacks in his face as much as he can. Not as much as he can, but like, just sticking out attacks in his face to try and catch it. That's definitely something that I feel like has been going on a lot. It's in like early meta. Yeah, right there he tried to do it again, but he didn't, didn't account for the uh, kick. That was smart right there with Pilgrim. Because now, get up attacks have more invincibility than they used to, so you can just you can eat smash attacks and then take the banana. Nice, nice. Yeah, now Pilgrim, like, like, you can see, like, he's definitely trying, just trying to, like, catch where he's going. Like, catch where he's fading to, and then just hit him. Just and then just, you know? Damn, they really just get rid of him. I don't know. I thought they pulled it back to Holmar. Shows what I know. Whoa, what? I guess it was out of range. Pilgrim actually. But like I said, just Pilgrim just knew like knew he had to just start stuffing Nell's attacks because he wasn't really stopping or like setting up a fortress or shielding or whatever. He's just like he's always able to be hit by a hitbox. So stick a hitbox in his face and Pilgrim definitely noticing that. Yes, catch. Sound effect, man. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh, wow. Wow, damn. Pilgrim just weaving around him now. Took a game to get used to his flow, and just. Delvin's definitely gonna have some adapting to do in this game, and possibly game three. Nice, nice. Like, I, like he just, he's catching him everywhere he's going. He just knows now. Take pressure right there. Yeah, Nel like I said, Nelva's not really stopping to shield ever. Yep. Oh, yeah, that was upgrade adaptation by Pilgrim. I want I Curious to see what's gonna happen, what Pilgrim, uh, Pilgrim, what Nelvin's gonna do in the next game, just to like, because I feel like all he has to do to like run back into the lead is mix up his tempo and just like general like fading, like movement habits, or not even movement habits, but like where he fades to, which I guess that's that's a movement habit, but you know what I mean, where it's just like, like I don't think the character was the problem. I feel like the problem was just, just Pilgrim just knew what to expect. Why don't I pick this one? Closer Blast Zones, maybe? But I don't. Are they even closer now? I thought. Aren't they like bigger or something? I don't. A lot changed. That. See? That. Dude, he just knows. He knows that Pilgrim's. Or Nelvin is like weaving in and out and trying to like. Do what I call the dash away bait, which is literally just where you dash away and then when they try to take your zone, you stuff him. He knows he's gonna go for that, so he just keeps chasing him down. 
and then he just sticks hitboxes in his face because like Nelvin, I feel like I've seen him shield like once. Or that's not that's an exaggeration, obviously, but he's not really like shielding in neutral, he's just trying to fight. So if they're not like shielding very much, you can just don't don't worry, don't even worry about grabbing. Just hit them. That was hungry though. Yeah, that was hungry. See, like the, and this as that as soon as he started to shield, now he's getting punishments. See, like that's what it, twice he caught Pilgrim for just trying to hit him all the time. Nice catch, nice catch. Damn, they really just get rid of banana, huh? Nice catch. Yeah, I get yeah. Get a good catch counter going in chat. Yeah, this is this is not the situation that he wanted, wants to be in. Having all of his attacks get like an extra second of hit stun and not being able to use banana. Or hit lag, excuse me. Yeah, Pilgrim, like, Pilgrim just knows where he's gonna go and Nelvin's not adapting quick enough. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, like, dude, like, I know I keep beating a dead horse, but that's just, he's just catching him everywhere he's going. He just knows. And SD. But yeah, that was that was definitely great adaptation by Pilgrim. It was looking bad for him game one, but he absolutely turned it around. He just took a time. I guess he just took a second after game one and was just like, "Well, he's doing this, that, and this. Why don't I just throw Pikmin there?"